Virgin Galactic special announcement. Over the weekend, lots has been going on with Virgin Galactic. I'm going to address a particular community, but I'm also going to uh, address um, my relationship with Virgin Galactic. Now, over the weekend, there was uh, lots of mention of me on Reddit. And I'm going to share with you this information here. And this is very important to share with you. As you can see here, this is the uh, SPCE subreddit, subreddit channel on on Reddit, of course, there it is. You can see our SPCE. They've got 21,000 members, so they're quite an, an active group. And uh, they posted my my video of the farewell of, my, uh, of me exiting Virgin Galactic. They went on to say this, and this is very, very important because I'm about to now tell you what has happened since this and uh, my relationship with Virgin Galactic. And we are making this during a live video, so those those of you can uh, comment live, and I and I welcome you to do so, and I welcome you to do so. Firstly, I'm in no way suggesting anyone actually watch this video. <laughs> bearing in mind they put the video on their channel. Uh, as, as, as many of you know, Martin Lucas, or in my opinion, Mr. Tumble or, of investing, has been keen supporter of Virgin Galactic. After countless spamming and clickbaiting, I don't know how you spam your own channel because I never post on Reddit, never post in your channel, never post on anyone's channel. So the very definition of spamming, please look in the in the English dictionary, means you put uh, information on other people's uh, sources. So you're 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 infiltrating other people's uh, spaces. I only put my information on my profiles. Never message it to anyone. Never 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 do anything like that at all. It's all on my content. You come to. To me so it's impossible to spam your own your own channel that's ridiculous clickbaiting well i've explained clickbaiting before nothing about my uh, services is clickbaiting at all other than uh um it tells you what uh, hints at what the story is so you have to watch it the people that live on reddit don't actually ever watch through the videos they just want to rant and i'm going to share with you some information and you're going to love this so please stick with me because i've been in conversation with virgin galactic over the weekend so you're going to find this very interesting. Um, anyway, through the years, he seems to have convinced himself that he should not only interview Michael Cole Glazier, but also become a representative for their company and take over the social media. That's absolutely right. I believe I can do a better job. And so do um, so do my viewers. And we do represent 95 percent of the world's retail investors on our uh, on our channel no question we've done it we've proved it and i've presented that information to virgin galactic and they've accepted it so there you go um it would be it would only uh, seem obvious to that company would want to distance themselves with such a character you're saying they want to distance themselves from me however what i'm about to tell you is i've been in conversation with them over the weekend and what you're about to find out is the very opposite of what you consistently say on your reddit channel um, uh, what with, uh, what with the space products that he's selling, the songs he creates with their brand and the countless videos advertising in micro trades, um, the space products. Yes, I have space products. And, uh, if you actually, uh, look that it is not, uh, their brand at all. If you look at the, the logo, they are all my own logos, not the Virgin Galactic logo. They're completely different fonts. Everyone knows it, who knows anything about Virgin. So please, uh, Look closely and you'll see. Uh, and yes, I wrote a song about it. Well, why not? I actually took the time to do something creative as the world piano man, having toured 195 countries, selling out thousands and uh, th theatres around the world to millions of people around the world for over for over 37 years. So uh, I think I'm qualified to do that and also done it for Sir Richard Branson himself. Uh, micro trades don't uh, dismiss uh, the scale of anyone's trades. We've got people here with the biggest shares uh, in retail space on Virgin Galactic and people with two or three shares of Virgin Galactic. Uh, they're equally important. Uh, 
Recently had a little meltdown. I didn't have a meltdown at all. I expressed, I expressed my disappointment. And when you find out what happened, you will realize it was the right thing to do. Because another rival space YouTuber, not a rival space YouTuber at all, he, the, the only reason why he got uh, asked to interview Michael was because of um, The Motley Fool, not because of his channel. His channel is a tenth of the size of mine. He doesn't go live. And, um, and Eric Kearney, who is the uh, Investor Relations, explained that to me. It was nothing to do with his channel at all. It was everything to do with The Motley Fool. Simple as that. So again, there was no meltdown at all. And when I explain what happens next, you'll realize I was right. Um, how, how dare they? Never actually said, how dare they? I don't believe. Um, anyway, understandably, this bruised Ma Martin's ego terribly, uh, terribly. Uh, my ego is not bruised. Again, I repeat, I've toured all over the world as the world piano man. I don't regard myself as a superstar because I'm on YouTube and I have an ego that's bashed because some guy on YouTube was, who five minutes ago uh, had another job has been asked to interview Michael Cole Glazier. People, uh, thousands of people, I would imagine over the years, have interviewed Michael Cole Glazier. This is not something unique and uh, uh, unique to one person. Um, and my time will come, and that's really not uh, not really an issue anyway. Um, as I'll explain in this video in a few moments from now. All right. Um, Moving on, uh, uh, put him down softly by saying, we can't have investors interviewing the CEO. And so he used this as an excuse not to continue working for him officially. Don't really understand that part. I'll read that again. Um, investor relations lead to eventually put him down softly by saying, we can't have investors interviewing the CEO. I never said uh, investors can't interview the CEO. That's ridiculous. Uh, we all know that uh, anyone who interviews anyone on TV may have uh, may have shares in the company. Uh, it's just not you're advertising it or, or linking it to the conversation uh, to the conversation directly. You can own shares. Of course you can. And my wife now holds all my Virgin Galactic shares. Of course you can own the shares. It's just not part of the conversation. You're not trying to create uh, some kind of buzz around your personal allocation. Uh, that's a completely different thing. Martin, comically enough, doesn't uh, see this as a deterrent. In fact, this makes sense to him. Solution, sell all my stocks, his entire position uh, in everything, and buy a SAP index. I like that comment that SAP index, it's the favor of, uh, uh, of Warren Buffett. So uh, I, I'm okay being a SAP with Warren Buffett. I've got no problem with that at all. Um, and my portfolio will reach $1 million live in front of you. And it will reach 10 million subscribers live right in front of you. So yes, you're right. I have joined the SAP club with Warren Buffett and uh, half of Wall Street. But there you go. I, I will, I will uh, listen to you next time. Uh, so Virgin Galactic can see him as an analyst rather than an investor. Well, I will address that in a moment as well of what's happened with that decision over the over the weekend. He just doesn't seem to understand that they wouldn't want him involved in their company. Oops, I'll tell you about that in a moment. Not like there could be any legal implications with brand infringement or literally hundreds of videos referring to his trades with space. That comment makes no sense. So anyway, that is apparently, uh, so that's it. So that's it, apparently. He sold his stake, uh, all 4,000 shares, trying to belittle my 4,000 shares. Like, like, that's, uh, like the number of shares is relevant. It's not, and it's disrespectful to everybody who holds less uh, as much as I cringe whenever I see the face pop up on Twitter, well, my, the answer to that is you simply unfollow me or uh, click uh, do not wish to see. So you don't have to see me every day and spend your life cringing. I don't know why you would do that, but there you go. Or YouTube, again, unsubscribe from me and click do not show me this channel. It's very, very easy to do that. I'm genuinely interested uh, in how he will react when he finally gets that he's not going to rest to recurve to recurve insider information from the company perhaps there will be a song perhaps there will be a song absolutely why not anyway he then goes on to saying perhaps 
though this is our inverse Kramer. Now Martin is, is, is without doubt. Now Virgin Galactic is without, uh, now Martin is out, we're ready to fly. I actually take that as a compliment that you refer to me as Jim Kramer. I don't think Jim Kramer makes a lot of sense. I don't uh, particularly uh, find his information useful. However, he's a multimillionaire on TV every day with a very successful channel. So uh, if you think I'm Jim Kramer or I'm the new Jim Kramer or whatever, I take that as a compliment because at least I'm now being seen and my uh, my channels are growing, I'm making money and I'm being successful, even though you don't agree with me. Anyway, after all of this, um, after all of this, there were lots of other com uh, conversations of people going backwards and forwards uh, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to labor on the point. You can go and check yourself, right? A lot of, uh, a lot of um, uh, what you would call online bullying, people saying all kinds of uh, negative stuff and having a go. And then, of course, my friends, my army, the Lucasades, they joined in. They offered their side of the uh, uh, of the uh, of the story, but of course they were all shut out. Uh, one particular uh, friend of mine, who's in the chat right now, Buckarooney, uh, he actually commented to this and he gave his opinion and actually corrected the facts, and they just deleted his post. So. What they want is not a debate, an educated conversation. They want a one-sided ramp uh, rant, and then anyone who comes in who, who wishes to um, have an opinion, a different opinion, they are just shut out and told to go away. And that's what happened. Now then, when I was younger, uh, I was bullied at school um, uh, for about seven years. Uh, I'm telling you this just before I come on to my conversation with Virgin Galactic and what has actually happened since all of this. Uh, when I was at when I when I was at school, I was bullied by a, a boy called Paul Morris. He was a bit like these guys in Reddit. Uh, he lived in dark corners and uh, on the way home from school, he would hide around uh, the corner with his mates, never on his own, with a bunch of, uh, of his friends. And they would set about me and I would arrive home uh, for several years with blooded noses and ripped shirts. And uh, why? Because I spent my time in the music room and I was different from him and he didn't understand me and he didn't like me. And uh, despite I was very you know, successful at school with my music and so on, he felt the need to uh, get his mates together, never on his own, normally about five or six, and then uh, beat me on the way home. And I would arrive at home uh, covered in blood and upset and my parents were upset and so on. This went on for years. However, when I left school, I then decided to uh, put all that energy into being successful. That success and that confidence now, because when I was a young boy, I didn't have any confidence. It was all beaten out of me by a young, a young boy equal age to me called Paul Morris with his band of six guys, six friends, never on his own. Um, otherwise, things may have been different. Uh, I then put all that energy to go on in life and uh, make a success of myself. I've had a wonderful life. I've had uh, successful businesses. I've toured all over the world. And uh, now I'm building a successful TV show, which is growing and doubling its rate of growth every month and so on and so forth. So my message to you is if you are going to try to intimidate or bully somebody, um, first of all, know that you are bullying a real person, a human being who may, who may, you know, uh, others, uh, not me, because I've gained in strength from what happened when I was younger. But there are many online uh, creators that have uh, taken their own lives, that have been very upset and traumatized by this sort of action. It won't happen for me. I see it as a positive um, because you are promoting my uh, channel, even though it even though it is in a negative way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me at all. Um, it used to, when I started this, it reminded me when I was younger, but uh, now I draw strength from it. And uh, so just bear that in mind. Now, if you are going to continue uh, with this kind of negative approach that you wish to attack people, um, unlike uh, just like uh, Paul Morris, who was just one boy, there was a, a group of them all together, face me on your own. Of course, you won't do that uh, because you don't 
you don't engage uh, open discussion. When my audience come in to have a discussion and, and correct your facts, what you actually uh, do is uh, shut them out because all you want to do is make yourself feel important, sit in the corner and rant to each other. So please continue, but no, it doesn't bother me anymore. And um, in fact, I use it uh, 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 to gain strength to do what I'm about to tell you with Virgin Galactic. So anyway, after I've explained about the bullying and I've explained what they're doing and so on and so forth, I'm now going to, ex uh, I'm now going to say what actually happened uh, on the back of all of that. So as you know, I was speaking to um, um, Eric Kearney, who is the investor relations manager, but not just him, many, many other uh, representatives from many other companies of all that I represent and all that I talk about. And it has been made quite clear to me, it's much, much better if we talk to you as a non-investor directly. That doesn't mean to say I can't own the shares and uh, I am still fully invested, but my wife holds holds my positions. Um, I, I just do not have it in the conversation that I'm, you know, that I'm uh, discussing with uh, management and those that work at the companies and so on and so forth. Um, if, if, um, if I'm sharing on the screen my shares, it just shows a conflict of interest. It's not the way it's done. And as my show grows, it's important to do things... Um, to, to, to do things this way. So anyway, uh, over the weekend, um, you heard what that uh, Redditor said there. Um, the company want nothing to do with him and so on and so forth and all the rest of it. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth because in a few days time, we are reporting the live flight, uh, of course, on the 26th. And uh, we will be having interviews with those that work at Virgin Galactic. And all of you now... And this is a very specific audience because I'm going to do what you did to me now, but I'm going to do it in spades, okay? Uh, you shut out my audience from being able to have a debate. So now I'm going to do it 10 times, tenfold. This is what we're going to do. Uh, yesterday, I spoke to um, Eric Kearney and uh, Eric Kearney replied to me and I posted uh, I posted the, uh, the content here on my ex. He said, uh, hi, Martin. Uh, thanks for the notes. I was discussing all about different uh, things uh, to do with all of this over the weekend. Uh, thanks for the note. Hope you had a good weekend. I did. Happy to connect this week and answer your questions uh, you may have related to the business or upcoming flights. Thanks, Eric. Eric wants to uh, have a conversation with me um, uh, 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 the upcoming week before the flights to give us, the investors, information on the upcoming flights. So, and this is the response I'm getting now from... Um, from all of those that uh, I did the right thing uh, with my portfolio and, uh, and and all the rest of it. So uh, it's continually onward and upward for my channel. We're doing all the right stuff. And there is the evidence right there that it's working. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to have uh, members only um, because everybody that sits in Reddit um, excludes uh, the, the the discussion. They just want to rant and rave to themselves. So please carry on. Your 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 voice is completely and utterly useless. Um, I will give this to my viewers, my members. So my members, if you um, if you message me, if you see this here, uh, this post on X, it's inviting all of you to uh, to put questions to Eric before the flight. Before the flight, you can find out things before the flight. So we'll go to uh, we'll go to this post here. It says here, uh, Virgin Galactic flight questions. Leave in comments. I'll pick the best ones to put to Virgin Galactic. You will have a voice. The friends on uh, our, our, I, I say friends. I'm trying to be respectful. Our friends on uh, on. Um, on Reddit. This is not open to you. So how are we going to do this? Well, what we're going to do is uh, you can put comments here, questions you'd like to answer, ask Virgin Galactic. But what I'd like you to do, so we only have questions from um, uh, the, the members of our channel, not the trolls and people like that, is uh, go to um, anyone 
of my videos on YouTube uh, and comment with your and give me your question you'd like me to put to Eric before the flight. So uh, we're going to get some questions uh, answered. Um, so I will know that you'll remember because you'll be replying to my video uh, at my YouTube channel and your badge will come up so I know you remember. And I will have those questions to put to, to Eric. So there you go. There's a little update with Virgin Galactic, and I've had similar uh, correspondence from uh, other companies that I am related with and we're talking about. This was a very, very good move. Um, the channel is consistently growing. The audience is consistently growing. And, um, and now we are getting information from Virgin Galactic. So my final thoughts on this is, if you are a uh, an online bully and you wish to uh, try to discredit or or intimidate uh, somebody, first of all, remember they're a human being. They have emotions. They're just trying to do their best. But for me, it makes no difference at all. I've been bullied. I know what it feels like. It kept me up at night for years. It was a traumatic part of my life. I've used it to gain strength to help others. And it doesn't affect me, but it will affect others. So please respectfully, don't do it. However, if you have strong opinions about something, allow others to talk to you and share their opinions. They, that way you will engage like we do here. I've allowed everybody here to comment during the making of this video. No one is shut out. So I encourage you to do the same. Perhaps you might like to, 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 to go on like that. But anyway, there's my final thoughts. Whether you, whether you agree with me or not, or continue to rant and rave in your little dark rooms on Reddit, we are moving forward. Virgin Galactic is moving forward. And uh, everything that you've just said is completely and utterly false, untrue, inaccurate, makes no sense whatsoever. And on that point, if I share with you um, the growth of uh, my channel, we've got a comment coming in now. Um, we've got uh, uh, 7,000 views in the last 48 hours and our subscribers just keep rolling around. We're at 14,349. We were only at 14,000 four days ago. We've gained 349 in just four days and 98% of our live viewers are our members, the highest engagement rate of any channel on YouTube. Anyway, let me, uh, I think I've got a comment just come in here. And uh, this is actually from Buckarooney, as we finish this video, who actually tried to comment um, with those on Reddit. Uh, and I saw his comment, he copied it and sent it to me. It was fair, it was open, it was honest. It wasn't uh, you know, like a fan club for me, it was just the facts and they shut it out. They didn't want to debate. They didn't want to hear it. They wasn't interested. And uh, this was the um, this was the comment here. He's just uh, done a super chat to to show it on the screen. You know, mate, we have your back, and I'm so happy you brought up about bullying and harassment of yourself. Stuff the haters. There we go. That's just come up from Buckarooney. We've had another one. It's from Rallo One. Um, and it says the only real and honest channel out there, go space to Virgin Galactic at $100. Indeed. So there you go. Have an open debate. Don't bully. It's completely useless. But for me, it just drives me on and gets it done. And Eric is meeting with me. So there we go. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you've watched through to the end of this video. I know you haven't uh, because the trolls never do. They only look at the thumbnail and switch off. It happens every single time. Anyway, until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.